Okay, today I'm going to be demoing and reviewing the B52 AT212. Same thing as uh, 112, the 100, just in a 212 setup. So, yeah. Here we go, right here. As you can see, I'm not a good cameraman. And I don't know what two models it has, but it has, I think, 12 of them in there. So, I don't know if you can see them glow, but they're in there. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Okay, so, let's turn this thing on and get cranking. Let's, alright. Yes, I know, I'm very bad at the camera. Put this thing on. Jam. And yes, I am 12. But don't disregard this review. You start on the clean tone. It's a really great clean tone, like almost as good as like a Fenter Twin Reverb or something. It's like really good. I think it's good. has a bright switch to get a more acoustic tone, kind of. I play some jazz too. I really like this clean tone for jazz without the bright switch. Awesome clean tone, period. Switch you over to the gain channel. There's two gains. Gain one is has a little less gain, a little bit. I don't really see any difference in the two. But I use gain one for like distorted rock, um, classic rock, blues, and it suits pretty well. I mean, what it, what do we, what do you expect? It's a high gain amp. Um, um, as you can see, it doesn't sound very good because I have the see the the both gain channels they share share an EQ and I have it EQ'd for the second gain channel for a metal tone, so um, it won't sound too good with the um, gain one. But with the right EQ, you can sound pretty good.
too good at that style. I play more metal, jazz, and classical progressive metal. So that's what I mainly use this amp for. This game two channel, game channel. As you can see, there's a lot of noise. So try to budget for a noise gate. As you can see, I don't have one. And, but with the game we wobbly, it has a really awesome tone. Crush. Great power to this tone. It also sounds really good with drop tune. I don't drop tune, but. If you want to play metalcore with it, deathcore.